wanted to start today about some of the rare uh, woodpeckers that we have uh, coming into the area. Some of, some of which is uh, historical range changes and or expansions if you like. And one is the, the uh, red bellied woodpecker that uh, we're finding here more and more all the time. Uh, they're mostly a southeast uh, US bird, um, but they're certainly expanding their range up into uh, into Ontario throughout the winter time. Uh, they, and it's a, a characteristics of, of the, the non-breeding season, they expand up into this area in the winter time. So it's kind of a, a backwards to what we're accustomed to, but we're seeing a lot of those. Uh, now this, I just wanted to point out that a lot of times people ask us in the store, so it is called the red-bellied woodpecker, but you often don't see the red belly, but you see how the red on the top of the head goes all the way across the top of the head and down to the beak? That's the male. Uh, the female uh, doesn't have it trans transitioning right to the beak. You can see her there, she doesn't have as much red coming over the top of the head and down to the beak. Uh, beautiful little bird, uh, omnivorous, uh, omnivorous they call them, uh, which means that they'll eat frogs and, and uh, tree frogs in, out of the trees, and even the odd little fish and stuff they might go on. So they are a bit of a, a, a meat eater as well as a seed eater. Uh, and uh, they, they're bugs and insects and larvae and stuff that they get out of the trees. Cavity nester as well, a lot like our, our uh, our native uh, or year-round woodpeckers that we have here. Um, very vocal, similar to a woodpecker. They do lots of chattering and, and what have you, uh, similar to, uh, to our woodpeckers. And we'll just do uh, one of their Mostly during breeding season, you'll hear that. Uh, they do some drums as well, like all of our woodpeckers, so they And if you think of that, you know, all of our woodpeckers drum like that as a territorial and a mating uh, uh, noise and mating call. And you got to think that that woodpecker's head goes, it's so super fast, it's amazing. If you read the statistic on the amount of speed and the amount of times per second that that beak will hit, it would astonish you. Uh, particularly the peleated woodpecker, and we talked about it before. So some of the ranges, as they say, they're a south southeastern uh, US bird, uh, the red belly, but you can see that they, they branch up into Ontario and, uh, and Western Quebec and stuff and into the Manitoba uh, somewhat throughout the year, uh, particularly in the wintertime. Um, so that's an interesting statistic and I find that we're, we're seeing more and more birds that are non-historical coming into uh, the area more. Uh, and then of course one of the other uh, birds that I really like to, that aren't as, they're common but we don't see them so often is the black back woodpecker. More of a boreal bird for sure and a forest bird but uh, very common here to, uh, to Ontario and it's a beautiful beautiful bird. Um, there in, indeed is the male and you can see the yellow cap right off the top of its beak that's, uh, that's the male in the black back woodpecker similar to the three toed woodpecker that they have in the US um, but is very very common actually and once you if you ever see one you'll really notice that the entire back side of his uh, of his back is extremely extremely uh, very deep dark black color uh, but a beautiful beautiful bird as well uh, they do they're significant in a lot of their co uh, conversation is done with their drum the, the unique part of it Hear how it just sort of brrr, tails off at the end? Listen to that again. And that's the significance to be able to ID them when you hear them. Now you gotta kind of be paying attention, but just listen to it brrr, and then tails off at the end. Hear that? They just sort of slow down a little bit, don't tap quite so hard. Beautiful, beautiful bird across most of uh, North America actually, as I say, or excuse me, Canada, uh, they're a boreal bird, so their year-round uh, uh, range is, is here in Canada. So you can see that 
purple uh, all throughout the upper parts of uh, Canada, and they'll uh, they'll venture down this way every once in a while, particularly in winter time. Again, a cavity nester. Um, they eat bugs and uh, larvae and what have you out of trees, so, so they're always searching and foraging. Um, not inclined to come to your feeder. Um, you may see the odd one, perhaps. You may see them in their in a bird bath or a whatever, but not inclined to be around the yards. They're more of a boreal bird, but again, uh, a very very nice bird.